begin with, obviously she had the perfect, perfect skin tone. So I'm just using my True Match Foundation from L'Oreal and this is the new enhanced uh, formula. And I'm just using my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush to apply it all over my skin. Uh, I'm trying to even up my skin tone and make it look as flawless as possible. And this Kabuki brush really does that. It provides maximum coverage so I'm just really taking my time buffing in the foundation until I have a kind of skin tone appearance finish I just wanted to look super natural because if you look at the music video you will see that Adele looks really flawless but at the same time not cakey at all so I'm also gonna highlight underneath the eyes using my match perfection concealer from Rimmel this is the lightest shade and I just love this formula again just because the texture is so natural so I'm just applying it very generously underneath my eyes and also on the eyelids and then on the bridge of my nose and the center of my chin this is just gonna add a lot of light and then I'm gonna go back to my my foundation brush I was using for my obviously foundation and I'm just gonna tap in the concealer again trying to get the maximum coverage and brightness right, right where I want it Next, I'm gonna set everything into place with my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. This is in MC20. I'm using the same brush for everything just because it's a lot easier and I just love the amount of coverage this brush gives me. I just think it's the best brush to use to apply your foundation really if you want that flawless, flawless finish. So I'm just applying it all over my skin to achieve that velvety texture. And then I'm gonna apply a liner to my waterline. This is the Scandalized Eyeliner from Rimmel in the nude shade and I'm just applying it to my waterline uh, to brighten up the eyes if you look at Adele's eyes they were super bright and big which I think is the most flattering look anybody can pull off so I'm just doing that to brighten everything up a little bit and then I'm gonna move on to the brows I'm following up with my usual uh, brow routine this is my Mac gel cream fluid line for brows in the shade deep dark brunette and then once I'm happy with the shape of my brows I kind of tried replicating Adele's uh, they were kind of thick and drawn on but in a good way they were just really structured so I'm trying to recreate that and then I'm gonna set everything in place with a transparent brow gel from L'Oreal Once you're happy with the brows, we can move on to the rest of the face. So first I'm going to bronze up my skin tone with my matte bronze bronzer from MAC. And I'm just using a smaller brush to focus it underneath my cheekbones. But then again, if you look at the music video, you will see it's not a structured contour. It's just a lot of warmth in a very strategically placed areas so I am kind of slightly contouring but as you can see this is a very warm shade and I just love it for subtle contouring but also kind of warming up the skin tone making it look super glowy and natural so that's exactly what I'm trying to recreate with this product Okay, next I'm gonna take the bronzer and a really big fluffy crease brush and I'm just gonna apply it to the crease of my eyes and the outer corners. Again, this is more to add just a subtle warmth and structure to the shape of the eyes because later on I'm actually gonna take my Sigma E25 blending brush and dip it into the bronzer a bit more and just focus it right into the crease to darken it up just a little bit. When I'm done with that, I'm actually gonna take my Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in the shade Light Scapade and a fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna slightly apply it to the inner corners and also on the um, arch of my eyebrow. This is more to bring in some light and make everything look a lot more soft, I guess. Um, if you look at the music video again, it's not a super, you know, obvious glittery highlight. Everything is just super natural and just seamless. So I'm also gonna apply it a little bit just on the top of my nose to kind 
kind of bring more structure to it and also on the cupid's bow to make everything kind of tie in together and look really flawless and then i'm gonna move on to the eyeliner as always i know i'm super boring but this is the best eyeliner you can use for wing liner this is the l'oreal linear intense eyeliner in carbon black and i'm just gonna do first a very thin line along the lash line and that is kind of the trick to get it you know perfect looking just you know one step at a time just taking it slowly eyeliner can sense fear so just go slowly and gradually increase the line and you're until you're happy with the desired look and Adele's eyeliner kind of started rising towards the outer corner as you can see kind of like an almond shape so just try to replicate that and then when you drag out the wing just make sure that the outer edge is completely completely sharp I usually like doing this by closing my eyes and then just dragging the line from the outer corner towards the middle and I just think this is kind of a foolproof way to do it because any other way it just seems to look very jaggedy and you don't want that for this look then I'm gonna pop on some demi lashes these are my favorite from Lominki in the style uh, mystery autumn they just add the perfect fullness to the outer corner and I just love it and then for the lower lash line I'm using my soft coal eyeliner from Rimmel in the shade black and I know this looks super crazy dark but now I'm gonna take a q-tip and blend it out until it's nice and soft To soften everything up even more, I'm going to take that E25 brush from Sigma and a little bit more of that bronzer and just blend everything out even more and this will just look more as a shadow than a structured line underneath there. And then I'm going to add on some mascara. This is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Mascara and I'm just going to apply it to my lower lashes and the inner parts of my upper lash line just to make them a bit fuller. And then we're actually done with the eyes as you can see it looks natural but very full and fluttery in the lashes which is something that I absolutely love. And then I'm gonna take my Sigma blush in Cord de Rosa um, and with the same blush I was a brush I was using to apply my bronzer I'm gonna apply it to the apples on my cheeks really diffusing it onto the cheekbones and blending up to the temples. For my lip combination, I'm first going to take my lip liner from NYX in the shade Soft Brown and I'm going to very slightly outline the lips and um, I'm when I say slightly, I'm just not going to really try to make a perfect line because later on I'm going to take my finger to blend out the edges. I just want it to look very soft. I'm mainly using this lip pencil for the color because it looks really honestly identical to the color that Adele was wearing. You just want something that has that kind of warm, orangey pinky undertone and yeah I just I guess it kind of replicates what she was wearing and then I'm gonna use my soft matte lip cream um, I'm not sure which shade it is but I'm gonna link it in the bottom bar below this video so you can see all of the products there but I just it's basically the same color as the lip liner and it just ties the whole look together and then you're actually done with the whole look I really think this is kind of pretty close to what she was wearing so if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys super soon in my next video. Bye!